Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna take you through a day in my life as a teacher. I know I did not have the best angle just now of filming, but you were just able to see me get ready for the day. Here's what I look like. Let's see, here's my outfit. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can't see it. I'm just wearing these fun pants with this big cardigan. And I will wear different shoes besides slippers, but for now I'm gonna keep my slippers on. But I always get up right around 5.30 and then it usually takes me right around 30 minutes to get ready. So right now it is just past six o'clock and I'm gonna go get everything else packed up that I need for the day and hit the road. I live with my parents so I have to whisper when we go out here. This is typical for what I leave the house looking like. I have my backpack, coffee, lunch, workout bag, and my breakfast that I'm gonna eat in the car. So I'm just leaving my house. It is 6.25. I live about 25 minutes away from the school and so I have to leave pretty early to get to school before 7 o'clock. I don't technically have to be to the school until 7.20, but I always like to get to the school a little bit early to get some work done. Oh my goodness, I cannot drive and do this at the same time. I am so close to the camera. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't have to get to the school until 7.20, but I like to get there a little bit early to get work done, especially today. I have some stuff to print on a Tuesday, which is the first day of my school week. I always have a little bit extra to do, so I need to get to the school a little bit extra early. As soon as I come to a stop up here, I'm gonna get the What We Said podcast going because it's Tuesday, and I like to listen to podcasts on my commute. So, I'm gonna listen to that and enjoy my little 20 minute commute to work. Yeah, my appetite is coming back. It's different for everyone. It sucks when you feel like you are classroom now here she is a little messy right now but that's okay For a typical day in my life, I will get here around 30 minutes early um, to kind of set up my classroom, but specifically since it's Tuesday, it's the first day of the week, I have a little bit more to do. So I'm gonna like reset my board, make some copies, organize some things, get ready for the week um, before kids show up. And kids show up at 7.20, so I have 18 minutes. Dude, raise your hand if your group has their three items that they came up with. No, no. <laughs> One group, kind of? <laughs> so no groups. I know we're so excited about this activity. Raise your hand if this was an easy activity. <laughs> Two people. Okay, the point of this wasn't for it to be easy, so that, that's fine. Okay, you have, in probably like five minutes, we're gonna share our ideas. Everyone, look at that first paragraph. I'm gonna wait till it's quiet to start reading. And the longer this takes, the less time I'll have to work on it, and the longer it'll take for you guys to get candy for it. So, I recommend we zip it. Okay, I'm starting where it says background. So you can follow along with me. After a freakish, once in a lifetime DNA and candy store incident, many classic candies have turned into living monsters. The DNA has made them come to life. I am starving and it's lunch, but I always eat lunch with my coworkers. So I'm not gonna film during that, but I'm gonna go eat lunch now in the break room. 
Hi guys, it's the end of the day. Got through all my class periods and now I have my prep. So I have my prep at the very end of the day. It's like an hour and a half, which is awesome. Um, so right now I'm working on a key for the project that my students are working on. And then normally during my prep at the end of the day, I will edit and film stuff as well. I have to stay after school today to host a club that I host. So I'll be here after school anyway, but I usually use my prep obviously for doing teaching things that I need to, but I also do a little bit of filming and editing as well. Here's the key for what I'm working on right now. It's protein synthesis. If you know, you know, I'm not gonna explain it. Finishing that up here and then I'm gonna do some editing. Here's Matt. Me and Matt. I'm in the parking lot at the gym, finishing uploading one more video before I go work out. I left the school right around four, a little after four, and I've just been sitting editing this last video that I'm gonna post today. But then I'm gonna go work out and then head home for the evening. It's bachelor night at my house tonight, so my parents are gonna watch The Bachelor with me, which I'm so excited. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get this uploaded and then head into workout, so. I look naked. I'm done with my workout and I'm on my way home. And I tried to get more clips of me like in the actual gym, but my phone died. So I did not get many clips, but I just did a little upper body workout and it's green. Working out is like the number one thing that I need to do to stay sane. I try to work out every day after school. I actually tried last week to work out before school. That was the very first time I've ever done that. I got up at 4.30 to go work out before school and it was so good. I'm definitely gonna try to do that more, but working out is just the number one thing I need to do to keep my mental health in check and just keep that balance. It's kind of like my me time and I get to work on improving myself and I just feel so great. So because I teach 20 minutes away from my house, I always pack a gym bag and so I have all my stuff I need for the gym so I can just hit the gym on my way home from school and I don't have to go home and then to the gym. If I go home after, like, right after school, I will not be leaving again. <laughs> so I have to go to the gym right after school. So that's what I just did and now I'm going home and I'm so glad I left the gym when I did because it's such a pretty sunset out right now. I'll show you guys. I actually really enjoy my commute when it doesn't get dark at 4 p.m. and it's starting to stay lighter for longer. And so I get to enjoy these beautiful sunsets on my drive home, which is so great. And I feel like I definitely didn't film that much today because I obviously was teaching and I wasn't gonna film during teaching. So I kinda wanna give you a rundown of how my school day goes. Students show up at 7.20 and then we start school at 7.30. So we start advisory class, which is just like the first period of the day. Um, it's not really a subject, but we have advisory for the first 25 minutes of the school day. And then we go into, well for me, um, I go into a science period. So I have an hour long science class period and then I have a little 10 minute break. And then I teach a leadership elective class that's like 45 minutes long. And then I have two more science classes back to back that are each an hour long. And then we have lunch and my lunch is like 30 minutes. And then I have another hour long science class and then I have my prep period at the end. So you got a little glimpse into that, but I feel like I definitely didn't show that well because it's really hard to film during the day. I definitely have so much else going on that I can't really film and I don't really want to film in front of my students that often. Um, I got a few clips here and there, but, but yeah, that's my typical day. Um, every day looks different, but that is like the main structure of the day. And I seriously love my job so much. I just feel like I have the best job in the world. Oh my gosh, I cannot hold this up. Yeah, anyway, I just love teaching science and I love my students and they're just the best. And even though my job can be taxing sometimes, it's just so rewarding and I just love it so much. But anyway, I took the scenic route home and I am now stuck in traffic because we have four-way stops and so a lot of cars are backed up. So love that for me. I also want to do it every morning. So let's go. Hi. Hello. Oh, say hi. Okay, I'm home now and I am going to shower and then I'm going to make a dinner. Oh, and by the way, before I worked out, I ate a Go Macro bar just to keep you guys, you know, in the loop on what I was eating. Let me guys know, let me guys know. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you guys want a, what I eat in a day as a teacher. I would love to film that, but I'm gonna make dinner after a shower and then we're gonna watch The Bachelor.
The bride who impresses Joey the most will get the very special first dance. Say hi to my vlog. But first, it's now time to yeah, vlog. <laughs> 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 yeah. She's gonna keep me on my toes. There's zero doubt about that. Maria said she wanted to get into something a little bit more comfortable. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little day in the life as a teacher. I always try to end my night with a little bit of reading. So I'm gonna read for a little bit and then go to bed. I'm really tired, so I'm excited for bed. But that's it. Thanks for watching.